Imagine a world where religious leaders evade law enforcement, hurling wild conspiracy theories from undisclosed locations. Sounds like the plot of a dystopian novel, right? Well, it's not. It's the reality we're living in. Today we're delving into the curious case of Pastor Apollo Quibaloy, leader of a megachurch and founder of the SMNI television network. Quibaloy finds himself in a precarious situation, facing threats of arrest and contempt charges for evading summons to separate committee investigations. Accusations against him are grave, ranging from sexual and physical abuse of Kingdom of Jesus Christ members to allegations of providing bags of guns to Vice President Sara Duterte and former President Rodrigo Duterte. The pastor, however, remains elusive. He claims to be in hiding due to an alleged assassination plot involving none other than the U.S. government and President Marcos Jr. He also alleges a $2 million bounty on his head and plans to frame him with illegal items. Quite the conspiracy, isn't it? Both chambers of the Philippine Congress, the House and Senate, have issued subpoena orders against Quibaloy. They demand his attendance to address the accusations and violations committed by his broadcast network. Senator Riza Hontiveros, one of the leading voices in this case, urges Quibaloy to adhere to the legal process and warns of arrest if he fails to appear at the next hearing. While hiding from Congress, Quibaloy has taken to social media to air his grievances and allegations. He continues to throw around conspiracy theories implicating the U.S. government and President Marcos Jr. in an alleged plot against him. His claims, although unverified, have certainly added a layer of intrigue to this, to this unfolding drama. Now, let's take a moment to consider the gravity of this situation. Here we have a prominent religious figure accused of serious crimes, evading legal summons, and spinning tales of elaborate assassination plots. It's a story that could have serious implications for the people who follow Quibaloy and for the broader social and political landscape of the Philippines. In conclusion, the situation surrounding Pastor Apollo Quibaloy is a complex web of accusations, evasions, and conspiracy theories. As this story continues to unfold, it serves as a stark reminder of the power dynamics at play in our society and the length some individuals will go to preserve their position. It also underscores the importance of accountability, regardless of one's status or influence. As the saying goes, nobody is above the law. Whether Quibloy will heed this adage, only time will tell.